Hi, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Today, we're looking at a 2004 Beneteau 423, Beneteau's best-selling sailboat of all time, and uh, for good reason, as you'll see when we go aboard. I sold this boat to the current owner in 2013, and uh, it's always been the nice flag blue color that you see, uh, which sets it apart from any of the white ones with the green trim that you see out there. So this one's pretty nice with the flag blue and white. Upgrades include new canvas in 2015. You can see behind me, including some leather handrails, uh, new electronics that were installed between 2014 and 2016. The boat has air conditioning, bow thruster, yeah. uh, dinghy davits, and a dinghy comes with it, 10 foot dinghy with a two horsepower Honda. All right, hey, let's go aboard and take a closer look. Walking down the port side first, you can see we got a Delta anchor, bow roller. I believe the sails are original 2004 sails, roller furling Neil Pride Genoa, and a in-mass furling Neil Pride mainsail. Couple little scratches on the transom and the transom paint right back here. Nothing too significant. You could probably touch those up if you wanted. As mentioned, that canvas is new. You can see we got a full Dodger connector, Bimini. There's leather handrails. And then there's protective curtains uh, uh, over the eyes and glass to keep them shiny and fresh. And then you can see in the cockpit, we've got a uh, wheel cover and winch covers that all match as well. And that Bimini in the back does tie right into the davits. Nice setup. Looking around to the transom of Irish Spirits. You can see our Avon dinghy. That's a 10 foot hard bottom dinghy. You have a swim platform with a swim ladder. You have two shore power inlets, one for the house and one for the air conditioning reverse cycle heat. You do have a swim shower on the back, hot and cold pressure water for that. Here's our little Honda 2 and nice stainless davits. Uh, the boat does not have solar panels, but if you wanted to add some, uh, you could probably get some that would fit right up on top of, of those davits. Walking along the starboard side. You can see the teak is natural. You could leave it natural, which is what I would do, and clean it every now and then. You can see tall it, you can varnish it. Here's a couple of fender boards if you ever needed them. Oh, we do have a nice little uh, scuff right here on the starboard side. Yeah, that's through the paint, so. Uh, while we're here, I know these are newer uh, adjustable Genoa leads. So you can adjust the, the leads from back here. Kind of nice to have if you're a a tweaker performance sailor to get the most out of your head sail on the boats I race now we're always playing with those all right in the cockpit and it looks like the uh, teak in here is treated with something not sure what it's a nice shape maybe it's natural just been clean actually it's got a little bit of a shine I think he's using some product on it while we're here 2125 hours on the engine and it does have a manual hour meter instead of one of the digital ones. All right, we'll take a look at the electronics at the helm here as soon as I remove this nice canvas cover. So all these electronics were upgraded between 2014 and 2016. And here we have a hybrid touch. Appears to be, uh, I would say a nine inch display. And you can either touch the screen and do things, but I think you'll find when you have your sailing gloves on and it gets a little rougher, you end up using the knobs and buttons instead. Here's our autopilot control. Now up forward where everybody can see it, we have speed, depth, wind up here. So you have a couple like multifunction displays. Actually one is identified as speed and one is identified as depth. And here's our wind instrument and they do have covers. And I have the table leaves out and they're varnished. They're looking really nice. So you have uh, easy dining for four outside here, and then those fold down out of the way when you're sailing. 
looking in one of the app lockers and I see the original prop, three bladed bronze pop, prop sitting down there. The boat does have a uh, feathering. Um, I'm not sure if it's a max prop or a flex and hold. Then we have some additional lines back here. Additional rigging. So it gives you room for two bottles, and this one has two, uh, although you only hook one up at a time. And then this one looks like it's ready to go. Put the port side first. I don't see any cracking or crazing in the gel coat. A lot of wide open space up here in the foredeck. Take a look at the anchor locker. And a Horizon Express windlass. I believe this boat, oh, there's a lot of chain. In fact, it's all chain in the uh, anchor locker here. I don't know how much feet, 200 feet maybe, but it's all chain, which is kind of cool. And I believe he has uh, a way of counting the chain. There's a chain counter from the helm. Although I didn't see it when I was back there. There is a whisker pole here up on the mast stores on the front of the mast for uh, pushing out that jib. Got a rigid boom bang. Our in-mast furling pride, Neil Pride mainsail, as mentioned, adjustable Genoa tracks. And then take a look at this canvas package. That's really sweet. So the windows are covered. You can see how they snap off. And then the center panel unzips. And then we've got leather handrails right here. So when you're moving between the deck and the cockpit, you got something nice and solid and comfy to hang on to. All right, let's go down below. Here's a general overview of the salon. You got a nice settee to port, nav station to port, dedicated uh, with a forward seat. And we have some electronics down there, including the VHF, stereo, and a little multifunction display. Over to starboard, we have our dinette. That table does drop down and uh, there's fill cushion, so that turns into an additional double bed. You can see uh, one of our vents over here for air conditioning and reverse cycle heat. And that is operating right now, keeping everything dry in here. Floors are in good shape. Let's take a look at the galley. Three burner propane stove with an oven, and then right above it, we have a microwave. You have a storage bin up here for dry goods or bottles. More storage here, place for silverware. Moving aft, you have a two basin stainless sink, cutting board on one side that's removable. A lot of storage back behind here as well on both sides. Nice storage area for your glasses back here. Uh, we have a top loading freezer and it is working. You see we got some ice frozen at the bottom there. So that's a good size freezer. And a front loading refrigerator that's also working right now. People really like this galley because it's U-shaped uh, where you got this companionway bulkhead you can lean against in a rough seas. Um, uh, and then it's also kind of right here uh, next to the dinette. So it's easy to uh, serve and kind of use this as a little serving area if you want for a buffet. So uh, it's one of the nice features is the galley. Yeah, they really kind of got everything right for a 42 foot boat. And that's why it's the, been the best selling Beneteau of all time. Let's take a look at the aft stateroom, what some people would call the guest stateroom. You can see you have a good double sized bed an air conditioning vent back here, uh, opening ports, and as well above, storage. And then this connects to its own head. And the shower is the sink that it pulls out and the whole area becomes a shower if you need it. Walking forward, we'll look at the owner's stateroom. This is one of the best selling features of the Benito 423 is it's a true owner suite with an island style bed forward on the center line and that's about queen wide and then you have your own head here and it has a separate shower area and 
it's all fiberglass in there. Well, I guess we've got one wood handrail here. And there is a cover that goes over the, the toilet. Uh, so it does make kind of a seated shower area if you wanted to. Storage, we have a big locker here. Additional one here. And some more storage over on the starboard side. Everything's clean. There's no odors down here. You know, sometimes you get on an older boat and it smells funky. There's none of that on this boat. It smells good. It smells neutral. Uh, you do have a Samsung TV that sits up here. I actually like, that's how I prefer to have a TV. It's more at eye level and it's in line with your main dinette area over here where you can sit and look straight across at it. And then you can also take it down and stow it away if you're going out to sea. Although he looks like he has it uh, secured here to this little pole pretty well. I've never seen anybody do that, but that's great. That's a good idea. So it looks like it swings around if you need it to. Actually, that's just our regular AC panel. Somewhere else is the air conditioning AC panel. Uh, that's actually under here. Here's our CD changer. Our VHF. A little multifunction display for speed and depth, stereo, a handheld VHF. There's also a remote mic for out at the helm for the VHF. This is our uh, battery charger right here, and there's also a Xantrax inverter. And then here's our DC panel. Everything is ship shape on this boat. Uh, there is some curtains for the windows as well, and then we do have these shades. Everything's closed right now, so it could become a lot brighter in here if we open all these up. You know, when you put the boat away, you close them up to help keep things from fading out. But you can see how much brighter it is all of a sudden. Once again, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. I'd be happy to answer any questions or set up a private showing on this 2004 Beneteau 423 located in Mystic, Connecticut. It's a nice example. I know this boat. Uh, I've sold it before and uh, the current owner is very knowledgeable and very conscientious and he's made some nice upgrades. So uh, it's a good one. And it's the nice uh, dark blue hull as well, which kind of separates it from so many of the others. All right. Hope to hear from you soon. Be sure to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.